What's going on? I'm a Sports Nation. Welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be starting a new series here. And it is called Hurdle. If you guys have ever played the popular word game called Wordle, then this is pretty much a version of that. So for in instead of trying to guess a five-letter word, you're trying to guess NBA players. So pretty much the point of this, you have eight guesses to guess like, um, you just guess players, and you can show like the outline of the player to help you guess. And honestly, with that, with that outline, I have no earthly idea who this is, but I'm just going to put a random one in there. Uh, let's go, let's go Juan Toscano Anderson and see, see what I get with that. Okay, so that means, here, let me make this a little bit smaller. Alright, sorry about that guys. So that means I got a match. Or means I have the position right. I believe that's what that means. Actually. Okay. Okay. I'm now no longer confused. Okay. So a yellow in the position column indicates a partial match to the mystery player's position. So yeah, I didn't really get lucky with that one. Okay. Now, now I know what's going on. Okay, so position. So let's let's check the silhouette again. I just I just don't know who is that. Last yesterday was easy. It was Luca. I I knew that immediately. But I just I don't know who this is. I just I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, Chris Dunn? Oh, I spelled that wrong. Uh, let's go Chris Dunn. Okay, so that means this player, at a point in time, played for this team. So we know, we now know that this player is a former Blazer. So I guess that helps a little bit, a little bit. Uh, it's not CJ McCollum. It doesn't look like CJ. Um, dang, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I don't think it's... Let's go CJ. Let's go CJ McCollum. Let's see here. Let me see what that means for the age again. It's within two inches, years, or number. Okay. It's within two years. This is hard. Oh my gosh. This is a lot harder than I had anticipated. Yesterday was pretty simple, but man, this is difficult. I mean, I'm stumped. Jeez. Um, <laughs> let's try that line again. Oh my gosh, who is that? Oh my, who, a former blazer who's somewhere between 28 and 32 years old and might be a forward. I just don't know who this is. It kind of looks like Kevin Herter, but Kevin Herter never played for the Blazers. So I I really do not know. I am at, I'm stumped. I want to put Kevin Herter anyway just to see if I can get any matches. Let's go Kevin Herter. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got some matches. 
All right, okay. So they're in the southeast. I believe that's the Hawks division. In the, okay, southeast should be the Hawks division. So let me run through players. Is there anyone on the Heat between the age of 28 and 32? Heat, Wizards. Just kind of think of teams in the East. Uh, Heat, Wizards. It's not, it's not the Hawks. We know that. No, it's not the Hawks. So it's either a player on the Heat, Wizards. I can't, all of a sudden can't think of our division. Hornets, Heat, Wizards, Hornets. Man, I'm stumped. So now they're in the East, in the Southeast. Um, let's, Let's go BAM. Let's see if they're on the Heat. BAM out of bio. They are not on the Heat. Okay, but let's see here. The height in the position. Sorry, in the in any other column is with it's within two inches. So they're not short. And they don't play for the Heat and they don't play for the Hawks. So let's try someone on the Wizards. Uh Maybe the Hornets. Is this Plumley? No, I don't think it. I don't think it can be Plumley. It can't be Plumley, because there's actually no. It could be. I swear this is Plumley. Is this Plumley? That's right, Mason. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Okay, it was Mason Plumley. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I pulled that out. Wow, six guesses. Wow, you guys can try this game out tomorrow because obviously you would already know the answer for today. But man, I did not think I was going to get that there for a while. Okay, Mason Plumley, the one for today. This is gonna be. I'm not going to do this every day because this is a daily game, but I'm not going to do this every day. Because I'll, there's going to be some days where I won't want to do. Oh, I might just want to take a day off from YouTube. But a day where I don't have any planned content. I'll probably do a video like this. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this new type of content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.